a note from Andrew Jameson. Hey, Andrew. Uh, this is with regards to network cards. Andy wants to know, he says, is there a benefit for the average residential user to have two network cards in their machine? I know most motherboards come with two internal network interfaces now, and I was curious if it benefited, say, internet browsing or the like. For the, as I say, this is where, this is the hooker. For the average residential, residential user, user. I would have to say for that user, nah, hmm. not really. Uh, from a server perspective, there's definite advantages to having two network cards because you can set them up on two different IP blocks, for example. You can have one allocated specifically to virtual machines as a virtual uh, bridge device. Hmm. But these are all server things. Um, in your case, it's going to be a gigabit Ethernet on that thing anyways. Uh, it's probably going to be connected into the same switch. So to have you know, two uh, cables going to that same switch, it's still going to be um, sharing that same amount of bandwidth. It's not going to affect your networking speed, at least certainly not on the internet. Hmm. So for the average home user, no. Hmm. 